Okay, so this is not really surprising in the fucking slightest, but here we got this egregious progressive. Like all progressives, they just lie incessantly. He's trying to uh, lie about the 17-year-old shooter uh, Chad from Kenosha, King Kyle, uh, who defended himself against like five, what was it, several? Because Antifa never goes one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you know, masks off face face off with you like let's you know let's box they do like two to six on one from behind while wearing masks um so the dude we all know the dude justifiably defended himself and now the progressives are scrambling to lie about what happened because all they do is lie 100 percent of the time without exception so we're going to go over this dude's video but first um i just wanted to show you that i added a subscribe star tier if you go over to subscribe star.com slash durst the worst you can support me because I'm 100% demonetized and it's kind of rough in these uh, censorious times. My main channel got a strike. That's why I'm uploading here. But basically, if you throw me nine bucks a month, I will respond to any video or article for that matter that you want. Um, yeah, just send it to me on any of my social media, probably gab minds at this point. Uh, Telegram, that's a good one bit shoot if that even has like a messaging thing but anyway let's let's go over this fucking wankery let's see what this guy has to say times by a cop Ooh. and is now paralyzed from the waist down wait, wait, there wait, wait, by wait. a cop in wisconsin who was shot in the back seven times by a cop oh, he's is now about... paralyzed from the waist down there have been protests in kenosha wisconsin and at last night's so protest two people were killed and one seriously injured by a 17-year-old. Yeah, so the 17-year-old, and he's talking about the Blake, I think his name is actually Blake, who um, was justifiably shot, I mean, by any reasonable definition. And he's trying to say, hey, zoom the back. This is what progressives do. They focus on, like, stupid little ancillary auxiliary details that don't really matter. Like, he was shot in the back. Uh, he was unarmed which he wasn't he had a knife and he said he was going for a gun after resisting violently resisting arrest whether you think the cop acted hastily or not it's i mean it's ridiculous if you do because he didn't um i mean that yeah the shooting was justified i mean these motherfuckers will riot over like in minnesota they're rioting because a dude killed himself they don't need a legitimate excuse anymore um so anyway with a rifle who was working with a, an armed white militia that was working with the cops. Unarmed white militia working with the cops. I mean, you see the titles already grabby. Kenosha police caught on cam working with white militia and teen shooter at protest. Does he mean that the militia just happens to be white? Or does he... He probably obviously means to imply that they're like a white supremacist militia. Which, no, they were like a libertarian, like, let's protect the property. That's what they were, you know. That's all they were. Um, and a bunch of Antifa psychos tried to isolate him and beat him down. One dude had a skateboard, the other had a pistol, and the media is deliberately hiding this. But let's see if uh, this dude will... What is this dude's name? Like, Doel or something? David Dole? Let's see if David Dole will enlighten us about the shooting circumstances. Now, there's a lot here. I'm going to go into it. The 17-year-old has been arrested, as I will get to uh, in a minute here. But there, yeah, this story is heavy. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Now, I'm also, I'm going to say up front, I can't show you that there's actual video <laughs> of the shooting. I simply can't show you it. How convenient, because I guarantee you he's going to take advantage of that and lie about the circumstances of the shooting. Because he, you know, he says he can't show it. He's probably right for YouTube. Probably not Bit Shoot or Mines or Gab or Library, which you should follow me on, by the way. But yeah, it might be true that he can't show that sort of gory stuff. Like, the one dude had his, like, arm completely, like, or like a third of it was blown off by a fucking rifle round. He was the guy pulling the gun on the 17-year-old on the, uh, Chad King, Kyle. Um, but yeah, this dude is not gonna... Um, if I showed you it, level. the video would be pulled from YouTube. I wouldn't even be able to discuss this news story. So you're gonna have to find that yourself if you really want to see it, but That's I can't fair. show it to you. That's fair. But I will give you the, the, the details on, on what exactly went down. So, first here from The Independent. 17-year-old arrested for murder and fleeing state after Kenosha shootings that left two dead. Kyle Rittenhouse, 
of wait did he flee the state i think he's in custody uh i mean first degree murder yeah that charge is not gonna stick and when it doesn't it's gonna be further riot fodder from wankers like this man sleaze buckets like this Antioch, Illinois, was charged with first-degree murder. So let me give you some of the details here that uh, led led up to it. I first, you know, want to point out here that he's from Illinois. He's not from Wisconsin. He drove from Illinois to Kenosha, Wisconsin, to be a part of this protest and carry around a rifle and end up killing two people. Completely in self-defense. So he, as of yet, has not brought up the fact that they attacked him like five on one. He still hasn't brought that up because all progressives ever do is lie 100% of the time without exception. Got to shout out Darren Kern. Uh, but what? get get to the self-defense. Get to the skateboard attack. Get to the handgun dude. Get to, like, all of that. What do you, get to the drop kick or, like, the... <laughs> what is it? Gurren Senpukyaku. Tatsumaki Senpukyaku fucking spinning bird kick dude get to that part get to the fact that they knocked him to the ground and were ready to fucking curb stomp him like get to that dude let me give you some of the details here oh yeah a white Let's. gunman shot one person in the head and one person in the chest around 11 45 p.m on tuesday evening right so that right there a white gunman to any progressive idiot who keeps insisting that the media has a bias in favor of like naming the black when it's that whenever it's a black suspect naming the race but if it's a white suspect they don't name it they will take any opportunity they can to name the white suspect every single freaking time dude it's just what the fuck are you talking about all progressives ever do is lie. It's During protests that launched in response to the police shooting of Jacob Blake, video footage... Child molester, uh, violent domestic abuser, cop fighter, <laughs> knife wielder, gun reacher, yeah. From the event showed a gunman in the middle of the street brandishing a semi-automatic rifle before firing off the shots that hit multiple people. Eyewitnesses then said the gunman was allowed to walk past police without... They just blatantly leave out the fact that he was attacked they just blatantly leave getting it arrested out. hold on a sec in one video protesters are heard shouting at police that he was the gunman as the officer drove by to attend to the victims as footage as video footage circulated about the shooting sh social media users identified the potential suspect as rittenhouse his facebook page is no longer available to the public right that's probably partially because Corporate media, like, straight up unanimously, universally doxed the dude, which was just absurd. Um, so, yeah, they're trying to incriminate him. Again, yeah, any any leftist that try to say, oh, they just dig up a black person's past to try to incriminate him unjustly. Look what they're doing right here. He's white. Um, he's not a part of a white militia, but we're going to smear him that way anyway. Blue lives matter. Pro-police. Oh, my God. Allegedly. It's like, what an allegation. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we're alleging that he likes Blue Lives Matter on Facebook. What an allegation. But, I mean, to these fucking, these tech bloggers who lie incessantly, they, I guess that matters to them. I mean, fuck. Like, but previous posts allegedly included Blue Lives Matter and pro-police statements. My lands. One image circulating of Rittenhouse showed the juvenile carrying a rifle similar to what was allegedly used during the shooting. So I'm going to show you some images here of Kyle Rittenhouse. This is the shooter. So you see him here, the green shirt, the uh, orange bag beside him. I'm pointing this out because I have some videos to show you later where we're going to see him. But so is he going to take it like like I said, is he going to take advantage of the fact that he technically can't show these super gory videos and he might get pulled to just blatantly lie? Like, has he just not seen them? There's no way, right? I mean... <laughs> More images here. This is... A kid. Right. I mean... So what? He's a little overzealous, but he's there with innocent intent. He's trying to defend property. And those people, they attack people. Those BLM Antifa psychos, they attack people, and they forfeit their right to life when they do that. People say, look, oh, you think that... You, you think that uh, property is more valuable than black lives. Well, I mean, if they're destroying property and attacking other people, then they've relinquished their value of life, in my opinion. But A kid inspired by the cops. Huh? 
Now, this video- A white killer inspired by white supremacist cops. Is that basically- I mean, is that like the vibe that this dude is throwing down? He doesn't- See, these, these queefy progressives, they never really- They just imply things. They never- They rarely will flat out say it, unless it's like an ism or an ist or a phobe accusation. Video. So, there were several live streams that were- following all these events so all of these clips are cut out of those various live streams it's it's impossible to, to give the uh the original person credit because people are just clipping these videos i have no idea who actually shot this originally but let me show you here this is just 11 seconds long listen closely to this is going to be kyle rittenhouse the shooter here he is <laughs> listen closely to what he says as he uh runs uh, runs by Yeah, he's. It looks like he's calling the cops on himself and reporting what happened to the, like to the authorities, um, or at least being on the way to. Is is this guy going to attempt to argue that that's incriminating against Rittenhouse, King Kyle? Is that how backwards their fucking thinking is? Hold on a sec. What's he going to say? So, he says, on camera, I shot somebody. Yes. He's talking to someone on the phone. Don't know who it is. I think there was some speculation. I'm not sure if it was confirmed that he was talking to cops at the time, so maybe he was admitting to it. Okay. But regardless, on the phone saying he shot somebody, uh, he's now been arrested, so yes, he shot somebody. Right, yeah, that much is confirmed. It was in self-defense. Is he ever going to get to that? And, uh, Why are you being hasty? There's still I'm some showing video you all left. this because this is apparently what happened before the shooting. So... Cell phone video shows Kenosha, Wisconsin, police officers in a military vehicle telling armed white militia members they, quote, appreciate them being there and giving them bottled water. While in the background, cops can be heard ordering protesters to disperse. And they should disperse because they're not protesters, they're rioters, and they are violent, dishonest, gaslighting, psychotic, drug-addled, banker-funded sadists. Uh, sadistic street scum so they should disperse in fact they should be in jail I mean, so like... when this was posted i don't believe uh rebecca kavanaugh here realized that the shooter was in the video so why i'm going to play the video i'm going to pause it at a point where it's obvious and then i'll he's going to like play everything except for, you know i guess he can't play it uh, uh, maybe he's going to play everything except for the video that it basically exonerates this kid well, i'll play the rest Content blocked, right. So I'm just going to pause it there to show you. This is clearly Kyle Rittenhouse. You see the orange bag, the green shirt. Exact wah, wah. same meow, outfit meow. you see here. Wah. Same person. Meow. Let me uh, continue this and watch where he goes and the uh, discussion he has. Copyright blocked. People are making fat ad revenue off these so videos. This is disgusting. It, it's, it's almost like watching, um, you know, rock stars with their fans. You have the cops here as the rock stars uh, talking with, with their fans. Oh, here, we have some bottled water, uh, water for you. Yeah, uh, don't worry, you know, um, we'll, uh, we uh, appreciate you being here, uh, as is, is literally said in the video by the cops. We appreciate you being here. A white militia, an armed white militia. They're not a white militia. They're like, low, again, they're like Lolbercuckian libertarians who want to defend the property. So, and so what is he saying? The fucking cops and their Humvees are like the Metallica rock star douchebags. And the, the don't tread on me like Lolbertarians are groupies, like sperm gulping groupies. Is that what he's saying? What is he, what is this guy saying? Like, he's, he's, you know, staring intently at the camera like he's said something really profound. He's done this numerous times and not much has been really communicated except for oh they handed out water bottles and said we appreciate you being here he didn't really didn't include the fact that the dude was attacked not yet still like half the video left uh he hasn't included the fact that they're agitators and blm because i mean he's a dishonest progressive we've seen that already so he either deflects from them being a violent agitative group or on one hand, but if you corner him on that, he'll probably rationalize it um, thereafter. But anyway, I we'll see. Is this guy ever going to say something truthful? Let, let's see. And you see, at one point in this video, um, 
Kyle Rittenhouse walks over for a bottle of water from one of the cops and eventually gets one from this guy here. And uh, they drive off and dun, go towards dun, the dun. So this isn't the end of it, by the way. As you see here, Omar Jimenez tweeted out, in an almost snake-like fashion, law enforcement pushed forward on their line and moved people out of the park in front of the Kenosha County Courthouse. They've declared it an unlawful assembly. Yeah, how snake-like. Yeah, enforcing law and order and trying against the wishes of, you know, libcuck government to, yeah, maintain some sense of structure, hierarchy, order, like all those evil Huate supremacist terminologies, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Smithsonian. So I'm not going to... I'll just scroll through, through this for you so you see what he's saying. You see here the cops pushing towards. Now, so what? there's a reason they're doing this. And there's a reason I'm showing you this. Because in this next video... Here a militia member says cops told them they would push the protesters towards them because they knew they could handle them. Watch this. Trap this goddamn bullshit business in, I get it. But you left the city open. Well, did you know, you know what the cops told us today? They were like, we're going to push them down by you because you can deal with them. And then we're going to leave. See? And then as soon as they said the that. The second the shots fired, I had to tell like six people it wasn't fucking you guys. Yeah. So mm. like we fucking, as soon as they said that bullshit to us, people hurt. Oh, you're hurting you. There you go. I, what? Now, yes, I will address in a minute why the hell is a white militia member talking to Black Lives Matter? How He's not a fucking white militia member, and they're not... They're... Dude, again, they're like gun-toting, hick, like probably Bitcoin speculating anarcho-capitalist types who are there to, according to them, protect the property. And he's based on like a water bottle association. He's saying that this is a conspiracy to shove look so i guess what he's saying is they try to shove the protesters out of the park and then have these white militia so he says attack them no these rioters are attacking people dude how's this conversation they're going armed. on yes I, I was surprised by that too uh, i'll get to more of that because they're dude they're conservatives who are there to be like oh dems are the real racists we're here to demonstrate that we're down with the that's what they're doing and it's never enough for these people like he's he's probably not gonna we'll see we'll see but it'll be uncharitable this is what went on time the cops told them that they would push the protesters towards this white militia this guy being part of the white militia the cops told them that and then th then the cops would just leave and that's exactly what you saw happen. And that's also what led to that teen, Kyle Rittenhouse, killing those two people. And he skips any and all culpability from the leftists who are violent, like five on one. So the cops pushing them out of the park during an unlawful assembly, even if, even if this communique that he alleges took place actually took place, um, just by virtue of the fact that they were pushed out of the park during an unlawful assembly and then attacked a dude with a gun, that is somehow evidence of guilt on the part of either the police or this Rittenmeyer, Rittenhouse, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm not buying it, man. I, I, I just don't see it. Now, why is this man talking with them? Well, it appears there are some people here that, in this militia, that maybe weren't fully aware of what was actually happening till it was happening. So, some responses here on Twitter to this video. There's a lot more of this happening than you see on the news. A lot of these young militia guys are just now realizing they've been duped into protecting the same owner class who've been holding them down, that they and Black Lives Matter ultimately have the same enemies. I mean, yeah, they're more Lolbercockians who say stupid stuff like, you know, conservatives are the real liberals. I'm a classical liberal. Like, they're those kind of dupes. Uh, they are dupes, but not because they're protecting property against terrorists they're dupes because they probably are partially doing that to like they think they can win over the rioters probably which as you can see by how bad faith even this guy is acting with however many subscribers he's got he's got a ton of views on this video alone full of lies lots of upvotes so that many people are walking around thinking this is true um but i mean 
No. In addition to that, the corporations fund Black Lives Matter, so that part is conveniently left out. I mean, they're going after him for protecting, like protecting what small to medium sized businesses from immolation at the hands of BLM rioters. That's protecting the evil, scary, mustache twirling owner class. I don't think so. Someone else. It's protecting like everyday Joes, dude. And people who need to be able to go back to work and make less money than assholes sitting on their ass collecting COVID checks. So you're saying a lot of these militia people are descendants of some pretty hardcore unionizers, etc. They're radicalized because they know the system around them is busted, same as us. But the most left-wing news they have access to is Breitbart. So communication <laughs> like this can really open eyes. What the fuck, dude? CNN, MSNBC, like CBS. What this dude's channel, BreadTube, um, what? Huffington Post, The Guardian, <laughs> what? I mean, the most left-wing news that they have access to is Breitbart. That is so out of touch, dude. With all the people that aren't even right-wing, we've been getting kicked off of YouTube, like, you know, Molyneux, Vincent James, Atheism is, bleh, Atheism is Unstoppable, I Just Got a Strike, I Can't Post on My Main Channel for fucking, like, six more days now. This dude, okay. So, a lot of these people are just stuck in their, you know, right-wing bubbles, and <laughs> aren't exactly no. clued in into what is really going on until it happens. <laughs> the hubris, man, okay. Like, you just weaved a whole narrative based on a water bottle, and they don't know what's going on. I mean, they don't know what's going on, because they're trying to pander to your crowd, and they should, if anything, by now realize that that's a futile gesture. Look at how fucking sure of himself this guy is, even though he's he's clearly a psychopath. He's lying compulsively the whole fucking time. And their eyes are open. Now, of course, that isn't the majority of them, as is also pointed out here by the same guy. Obviously, way more of them are just disaffected white supremacists looking to shoot people of color and leftists without consequences. So, yeah, obviously, yeah, and there's so much evidence of that. That's the re reality for most, most of people, for most of the people in that militia. And the evidence that you have, as of yet, cited is in the next minute and a half of the video. He's totally going to cite that along with bring up the fact that Kyle was attacked, right? He's going to bring all but, that up. Um, He's going to wrap it up into a nice little bow. This one guy us. here, I guess, waking up to the reality of what was going on. Now, just one last thing I want to hit on here, this this tweet. I mean, we're talking about just an anecdotal reference, like third hand about someone, like just a cop allegedly saying, oh yeah, you guys can handle them, like maybe. I, I don't think so, dude. It sums it up well. Nick says here, Jacob Blake got shot seven times in the back for breaking up a fight. No, he was engaged in a domestic violence dispute and he was wielding a knife. All progressives do is lie all the time without exception. A little racist white kid guns down three oh. people, killing one, now two, with dozens of witnesses and walks through a police line unharmed. It was self-defense, dude. They were mobbing the dude, brand swinging a skateboard at him, pulling a gun out. It was self-defense. Oh, yeah, you can't show the videos on YouTube. Yeah, how convenient. In the same goddamn city. It's all in front of you. I covered the Jacob Blake shooting. Look how the cops treated him. Somebody who was unarmed, not doing anything wrong. Just he was not unarmed. That's a lie. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time, without exception. Just broke up a fight. Nope. Was going to drive his kids home. Then shot in the back seven times by a cop. He was fighting with the cops, he had a knife, and he said, I'm reaching for a gun. You idiot. Yet here, you have a white militia carrying rifles around, including a 17-year-old. It's a Second Amendment right. He had trigger discipline. Actually, yeah, the fact that he's 17 is a factor. <laughs> I, I shouldn't leave that out. Um, there were some legal questions in terms of, like, overstate lines and him being 17. But still, the self-defense portion is going to bear out. I mean, these guys are just lying. They're selectively reporting on this in, in that they're not really reporting on it at all. They're just lying. Offering the bio mission and just lying flat out. Bottles of water, discussing how they're going to work with them, thanking them for being there. And then that kid ends up killing two people and walks through the police line and drives off. Lissai. I mean, it appears that leftists don't believe in self-defense for right-wingers because I guess 
the speech is violence mantra like to be a right winger is in and of itself violence to be white and a right winger is like two times violence right so they will lie in order to I guess justify violence against white right wingers and if they defend themselves oh well that's that's violence that's white militia violence my Bullshit. only hope is that stories like this wake more and more people up I mean if the George Floyd stuff didn't already wake you up died of fentanyl overdose which I'm not sure. it woke me up to never try heroin not sure how it couldn't or fentanyl have but if somehow you've been living under a rock and we're still blind to the reality of what many of these police forces are about maybe now your mind is open yeah David Dole you are a travesty man uh, but anyway Subscribe to me on Subscribestar. I'm completely demonetized. This channel has gotten a strike, or my main channel's gotten a strike. Um, this channel is becoming increasingly difficult to maintain because of all the fucking roadblocks that exist for non-leftists and dissident right sort of voices on here. So, yeah, again, if you uh, throw me nine bucks, I'll break down any video that you want. Just send the link to me after you, after you pledge, and uh, we'll get something going. But, uh, yeah, share the video out and uh, subscribe.